Mavis Beacon Teaches Typing is a classic computer typing program from 1987. Oh, sorry, Mavis didn't mean to grab your breast like that. Aside from learning trivial facts about bubblegum, Mavis will act as a beacon, <laughs> guiding you on your journey to become a great typist just like her. Just look how friendly she is, too. Not like your stereotypical 80s typing tutor with a yardstick for whacking you for looking at your keyboard. The program comes on two discs for the Apple IIGS version, which we'll be looking at today. Alright, so it's been about 20 years since I've played this, so let's see how it holds up. I guess I'll start with a new lesson. Is this Roger? Um, no. But, good guess. And just so you don't make that same mistake in the future, Mavis, I'll go ahead and give you my correct name. Your age, over 14. Never really been categorized in such a broad age group before. And I guess I'm intermediate. So, let's see, blah 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 blah, let's just start the lesson. All right, I guess I just start typing. 65 quizzical sheep kept their jaws dry in a farm bungalow. What the hell am I typing? Bulky zebras find they can hoax. Woo woo wah. Crap. Weary men with Wavery jumping juvenile zest for excitement. Oh, holy crap. Ah, uh, suck at symbols. Ah, uh, here's the quote. There it is. Especially on the 2GS. I'm not used to this layout. Uh, okay, where the hell is the backslash? Okay, seriously, where's the backslash? It's around here somewhere. Ah! Pound, ampersand... What the hell is that thing? Percentage sign? Okay. Alright, finally done with that crap fest. Now at the end of every lesson you get a summary. And I definitely wouldn't call 36 words per minute fabulous. Setting the bar a little low, aren't we, Mavis? Those stupid symbols. So this blackboard-style introduction and analysis is actually kind of nice, just because it tells you exactly what you're trying to work on. Since you're an intermediate typist, we assume you know the locations of all the keys without looking. Well, Mavis, I'm afraid your assumption is incorrect. Also a nice little touch is that the keyboard image on the screen actually matches the computer that you're using. So this is actually an Apple IIGS computer, and if I were using an old-school PC, it would be a PC keyboard of that era. Now one thing that is pretty annoying is that if you mistype and you type one letter ahead of where you're supposed to be, it's going to count each subsequent keystroke as a mistake. Now what kind of logic is that? I mean, in the real world, if I mistype one letter of a word, and continue typing all the following words correctly, it's not going to count all those other words incorrect, right? Well, that's the logic of Mavis Beacon. And luckily in this lesson there weren't a bunch of symbols to slow me down, so I got a decent score. And if you exceed the level that you were currently assigned to, it'll actually ask you if you want to step it up a little bit and meet a real challenge. And of course, there's the section of the program that everybody remembers, the racing game, where you're barreling through the Montana countryside in your typing racer. And it's very simple. The faster you type, the faster you go. Making mistakes slows you down, allowing your opponent to overtake you. And this can lead to a lot of stress and frustration in trying to get those words typed correctly. I wonder if Mavis is actually the one driving that car, too. Surprisingly, there's also some pretty cool features for the time. Well, cool if you're a typing enthusiast that likes 80s retro games. Like report cards and graphs that can display information like speed per key, problem keys, and errors by hand. Kind of funny, but as a kid I actually thought Mavis Beacon was a real person, like some renowned typist or something. And it wasn't until years later I discovered she was just some random person that one of the software developers discovered and decided to make the face of the product. 
over the years, the actress portraying Mavis has changed, and I don't know, doesn't it just seem kind of racist? Like, oh, you know, all black people look the same. We'll just slap on a new face. They'll never know the difference. Well, wrong. I do. And that's not Mavis Beacon. This is Mavis Beacon. Well, okay, technically her name is Renee Lesperance or something, but I don't care. She's Mavis. Kind of like the computer version of Betty Crocker fooling children all around the world that she's a real cook. So, there you go. Mavis Beacon teaches typing. A very nice, comprehensive typing program that adapts to your specific needs and saves your progress. All in all, a pretty dang good program for the time. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed my review, and thanks for watching.